Hey guys, how y'all doing today? It's your boy, the one and only Kane Trent TV, and I'm back for another video. I'm back to talk about the Baltimore Ravens. Uh, today, the Baltimore today, I want to talk about Coach John Harbaugh and his uh, decision that he made at the con what he said at the press conference today. As I'm looking on my phone, you know what I'm saying, at work or something, I hear things. I, it, it pissed me off. I can't even say what. It's, the, the thing that he just said, that he, that he said in the press conference, might piss some of the, us fans off because it's really pathetic that this nigga John Harbaugh is boneheaded as fuck. I'm going to repeat myself. He is boneheaded as fuck right now. Um, So, the why he's boneheaded the the fact of the matter is John Harbaugh has come out and said that he was not going to make no uh coaching changes or nothing like that no staff changes or nothing like that and he's just going to ride with Greg Roman for, until the off season I guess he's going to ride with Greg Roman you know what I'm saying um he's and he said he's good he said he's fine with Greg Roman being on the team he's and stuff like that um the matter of the mat, the matter of the fact of the matter is that uh, if that even makes sense, I did whatever I just said. But the matter of fact, it's just it's sad because it's really sad that we got stick with a mother fat. I won't say it. We got stick with a fat motherfucker, a fat barbecue chicken, raw farms grilled, fat onion, fat motherfucker who wants to be. Offensive corner. The man thinks the yo. As I say, he called plays like this nigga eating pop. This nigga called plays like he eating pop pop chicken, yo, or something. Or he went down Mar Domin somewhere in Baltimore and bought a chicken box. Cause the man sucks. I don't say it. Greg Roman, fucking suck. I want this fat ass nigga off my team, but John Harbaugh just keeps saving his ass. He keeps saving his ass. Why you can't be like Jim Harbaugh? Jim Harbaugh will lay the law on this nigga. Your brother, Jim, will not accept this fucking uh, defeat. This Accept this type of play calling. Accept this type of coaching. You know what I'm saying? Jim Harbaugh will lay down the law and fire this nigga. Shoot, Jim Harbaugh seen... Let me see. Jim Harbaugh gave that nigga two seasons and got him the fuck out of there. John Harbaugh looks like he want to keep this nigga until Lamar's career is done. That's what it looked like. He wants to keep Greg Roman there until Lamar's career is over with. That's how it. That's what it looks like. And I, I'm sorry. I, I if I'm Lamar Jackson, bro, do not sign that contract. Go somewhere else. Get your money, man. Go somewhere else. Get your fucking money, cause. It's not worth it to come back here to Baltimore if 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 we can't put talent around you and then we got and we can't even get better coaching. You know what I'm saying? Cause fucking John Harbaugh is still in his fucking head. The nigga bumped his head or something. Cause how the fuck you can stay with a nigga like Greg Roman? How the fuck you can keep a coach like Greg Roman? The nigga called a dumbass play play in a Denver game. He called a fucking Jeff sweep sweep. I want to say Jeff sweep type of fake or some shit. Or I don't know how what you call it, but he called a jet sweep fake where he give it to uh Proche looked like he was gonna do a jet sweep. Instead, the nigga Proche throws a fucking dumb. Ass. I ain't gonna lie, the throw that that was not on uh Greg Roman right there because Proche should not have threw that ball. But at the same time, that play call was so fucking stupid. I was probably one of the like I said I'll repeat myself. This is one that was the one of the worst play calls I ever seen. In my entire life, as a, as me watching the Ravens, that was one of the worst play calls I ever seen. And then here we go against the Steelers. The Steelers, we was the Steelers. We couldn't do pretty much the Steelers. We couldn't score a lot of points. We only they held our asses to sixteen points. We held them to fourteen, but we held them. They held us to sixteen points. What what's going on with the offense? Why are we scoring less than twenty points? What's going on? What is going on? We can't even score 20 points. Let's save our asses. One week is 10 points. One week is 13 points. Next week is 16 points. What the fuck? This week is three points. Three? I don't want to get loud, but we scored three fucking points. Three points. It's even getting worse. Three fucking points. We can't even put up 
double digits or even score 25 plus on a team because some reason Greg Roman is stuck in his head. Like I heard last week or something like against the Browns, the nigga threw more balls than he ran the bitch. He threw more balls than he ran the bitch. And John Harbaugh won't be stuck in his way and keep a fat nigga like him as the coach. I'd rather see Toy shoot, I'd rather see T Martin or Keith Williams out there coaching this uh, offense. We give at least give those guys a chance, because we give those guys a chance. They might can actually do something with Lamar. T Martin might make Lamar Jackson look like Patrick. Martin. I ain't gonna lie. T Martin the if T Martin might come out here and, and come out with a game plan when where the Ravens office could look like the Kansas City Chiefs and Bills. That's how I think that's how confident I can think of T Martin right now. I think T Martin can make the Ravens offense look that elite. But also we gotta add talent to make it that elite too. So that's all me. Man, it's just sad. It's sad to uh say that John Harbaugh said in the press conference he is not gonna make no coaching change. He's just gonna stick with the guys. He said the coaching staff is good. He's good. It, the, he said the coaching staff is very good. You know what I'm saying? This is not a bad coaching staff. So he basically saying, "Fuck y'all fans." He basically basically what he told us: "Fuck y'all fans." I'm riding with my nigga Greg Roman. Fuck y'all. You know what I'm saying? Y'all don't know football. Fuck y'all. You're, he basically told us, "Fuck y'all. Go eat a dick." And let us ride how it is. We okay to be a bum ass team. That's what he basically said. We okay to be a just a be. A, I would say just be a good team. He's okay being good. Just be a good team. Not great. Not awesome. Not a thargic or fucking who you want to say super super team type deal. He's just okay to be just good enough. And I'm not. And I'm just saying. Steve Pashati, I'm this. I'm gonna call you out real quick. I know this is. I gotta call you out. Why the you the fucking owner? You the fucking owner. Put your fucking foot down and make John Harbaugh get rid of this motherfucker. Put your foot down and make John Harbaugh get rid of this nigga. Drop your nutsack and make this nigga fire this nigga Greg Roman. Cause for some reason Steve Pashati, why the fuck you not staying nothing, yo? This is your team. Don't you say you wanna see a Lombardi? Don't you want to see another Lombardi trophy? At least a third one in Baltimore before you retire as the owner or something? Before you sell this team away or something? Because I, I heard in 10 years from now, you will sell the team away because you'd be 70. Like, I think they say you'd be 72 years old by the time um, that happens. So I'm just saying, put your foot down and, and, and make John Harbaugh fire. You would tell John Harbaugh to fire him, fire this uh, offensive corner, or you. Or you or you f- put your foot down, you fired John and Greg Roman. You put your foot down and get rid of the, both of them niggas. Because I'll tell you right now, if the Baltimore Ravens don't make the playoffs, if you lose to, I would say this, if you lose this game against the Atlanta Falcons, y'all need, y'all got to look yourself in the mirror and do something because we can't lose to the Falcons. The Falcons are ass. They are trash. We We can't lose to the Falcons. No, no means necessary. We can't lose to the Falcons. We can't even lose to the Steelers. So I'm putting pressure on my team. We need to beat the Falcons. We need to beat the Steelers, and we need to beat the Bengals to get into playoffs. We need to win three games, all three games, all three games. Cause, and not even that. And also, we can't be a first round out in the playoffs. I need my team. I want to see my team at least in the AFC Championship. Super Bowl, yes, I'll be glad if we make the Super Bowl, but I'd rather see my team at least fight and, and make the AFC Championship and also went be and also get in a close game in the AFC Championship, almost making the Super Bowl. I'd rather be in that type of predicament than be in the first round out. So that's all I got for y'all guys. I catch y'all later. I catch y'all tomorrow when I make the uh, Ravens versus the uh, Falcons preview. You know what I'm saying? And I catch y'all on the next one. Peace out, my friends. Stay blessed. I'm out. Peace.